I'm actually gonna step away. I have work a little more. That's that fine. Gets. So y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. All right. So we have Dax FZ versus Zero Suit. <clears throat> These are both like pretty mobile characters. Uh, all right, on you know, try to hit his shield, got up be out of it. I have to tweak this. Except to set a moss stage. All right, now that that's tweeted out, let's nice. see what's going on here. All right, so they're both on their second stocks. Uh, super even. I, I saw that since I got the first kill. A little, little bit of bad spacing there. Yeah, you gotta really be careful. You have to like know how to navigate around shield, especially if you're like a melee attacker like wolf. Yeah, like it's a before you have to be really careful. Like if you land a late nair, or even if you land a fair too up close, like you're pretty much you're, you're pretty much leaving yourself open for an up the out of shield. And it's especially annoying because if you're trying to challenge the assess off stage. You have to really be careful with that flip kick because if you try to jump off stage, it might catch your jump. Uh, if you try to ledge trap, you also have to be careful because you can just flip kick barrel you and then proceed to punish. A lot of it has to do with Wolf just trying to kind of play the patient game, you know, just like lasering. Um, just making sure that you can keep up the pace. Play a little bit safer. At this point, I would say just let Sensei do the approaching and then with punish. Ooh, yeah. I have to play super safe here. Is that that's forward throw, right? Uh, up throw. It is up throw. It looks yeah. so silly. Did she do like the upwards kick? Or? Yeah, she did like a full body. Yeah. She did like a. Her up air like basically looks like. Yeah, yeah. Up there. Funny. At that moment, okay, so when ZSS is desperate for those kills and tries to go for the like desperate like late percent kill throw, best thing you can really do is just anticipate that and spot dodge. Because if they go for an aerial, for example, you can usually spot dodge out of that. And if they go for the grab, then that's like a free down smash on Wolf's perspective. And Wolf can kill CSS really early with that down smash. So I just think 
at that moment, if you're at really high percent and your opponent's desperate for the kill, it's pretty much all about just getting frame advantage out of like your spot dodges and just letting them put out the laggy attack. Right, that said it. though, we're back at PS2. I'm noticing this common theme where they just keep catching each other's jumps. I think if either one of them just stayed grounded, they'd be better off. Like, I think if Wolf just stood there and just turned around, laser, or just did any other grounded approach, it would work out beautifully. Because the SS does a really good job of catching jumps. Like, she can even catch jumps with her up smash, and that can be difficult to deal with, because there's a decent amount of range on that attack. He's playing the routed game, staying patient, letting Sensei do all the work. I like that little nair to stop the flip kick. That's really good. Because a lot of ZSSs, what they'll do is they'll try to flip kick onto plat for safety. And so he caught that with the, the nair. And basically, they tend to uh, second guess his recovery. Sensei steal the stock. You know, he's yeah, okay, good, good. You know, honestly, I don't I don't mind seeing all these side bees from Sensei's part. I, I think it's the safe way to go when you're trying to get the kill. Ooh, that was a really good movement around the platform. I like that a lot. And he went straight for it too. He, he had no patience. He immediately buffered that up smash. It's really good. Alright, game three, putting it back to PS2, and right here we got the snake. So that's when you know who you really want it.
Wolf's Reflector is going to be playing a significant role in this matchup in particular. Uh, we just have to see how Na Sensei navigates around that. I think the best way to do it is just don't approach. Like, just let Wolf throw out those Reflectors, throw out those lasers. And, like, as soon as Wolf gets impatient, just punish him. See the tech chase. Okay. Jeez, he's just going in. He's just not letting Sensei get stage control. Ooh, nicely done, nicely done. He can take advantage of this. Is that like that percent where things will kill? At relatively low percents. If he just gets a couple more strings, should be good. That said, though, again, not maintaining stage control. Um, he's putting out a lot of dash attacks. I'm curious to know why Sensei is not shield grabbing them or just shielding in general. Um, I guess he just doesn't expect them. I mean, it is a nice burst option, but I feel like it has like enough startup to the point where you can be like, yeah, like I know it's fast, but I'm, I'm ready for it. Hopefully we'll see that. He does a really good job of angling Nikita. It's a really good job. Yeah, at that, at that point, now you're you're scared of the up tilt, and you, you really gotta be careful of your rolls. If you have bad defensive habits, this is doing... nice. His precision with Nikita is so good off stage. Probably one of my favorite things about Sensei as a player. He just knows how to intimidate. Just look at that, so precise. I think if he used more of that platform movement, he would have been better off. Because he did a lot of good, like, da he did a lot of, like, dashes on platforms, falling back airs. Those worked beautifully. So I think if you just kept with that game plan, you wouldn't have had a struggle here. 